Hello friends, today we are going to study about upstream and downstream problems of class 10th. Here I am going to solve these two sums one by one and I am going to tell you how we can solve and I am going to tell you what is upstream and downstream also. This is so important not only for class 10th, actually in IBPS and PO exams or many in many competitive exams, this type of questions they are asking. So this is very important. Please carefully look how I am solving this and please um, complete my whole or watch my whole video. Now, what is upstream and downstream? Look here. When you are going in a boat in any of the direction, look here. If you are going in a boat, what will happen? Either waves will help you or waves will oppose you. When you are going upside, means we actually are, we are going in a straight line but then also we will take it as upstream if we are going upside at that time wave will oppose us and when we are going downside at that time wave will help us so if you if you are not able to understand this simple just you if you want to climb it 10 story building when you are climbing up what will happen means upstream you are going up at that time gravitation will oppose you but when you are coming down from that building gravitation will help you so down means downstream and up means upstream when you are going up gravitation is opposing same way when you are going in a boat this is the speed of the boat that you take x and speed of the current that you take why? Sometimes the speed x boat and speed of the current y. Sometimes current is opposing you and sometimes current is helping you. So now I am going to solve this sum so that you can easily understand what we have to do. Look here. Ritu can row downstream 20 kilometers in 2 hours and upstream 4 kilometers in 2 hours. Find our speed of rowing in still water and the speed of the current. Look here, we have to find two things. First, we have to find the speed of rowing in still water, means our speed and the speed of the current. Every time we have to suppose the speed of anything that is or a boat or here we are finding the speed of Ritu. So, speed of Ritu in still water equals to x and speed of current equals to y again I am telling you when she is going in upstream what will happen current will up so current will oppose so what will happen we, we have to deduct the speed of current from the speed of Ritu and when she is going downstream, what will happen? The current will help Ritu. So, now here we can see distance is given, time is given and speed is here. So, we are having simple formulas for that. Means if we want to find speed, we know it's distance upon time. If we want to find time, it's distance upon speed. And if we want distance, it's speed into time so here we know they had given us distance and time so we know speed is equal to distance upon time this is for case one means for uh, downstream case one downstream so we know downstream so what is the speed here speed of downstream is x plus y and distance is 20 and time is 2 so we can cancel it and you will get a equation x plus y equals to 10 first equation now for case 2 now what she is doing and upstream 4 kilometer into again the same thing speed is equal to distance upon time means what is the speed here for upstream x minus y and the distance is 
फोर किलोमीटर इन टू ओवर सो फोर बाई टू इट्स टू सो अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन विल बी एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल्स टू टू so we are getting the two equations now we we can solve by any of the methods like substitution cross multiplication look here easily we can see elimination will be easy for us so adding this cancellation 2x it's 12 so x will be 6 so the speed of ritu will be 6 and what will be the speed of current if i will put 6 here 6 plus y is equal to 10 is on the place of x i had kept 6 so 6 plus y is equal to 10 so y will be 10 minus 6 y will be 4 so this is the speed of the current now i am going to solve this second question actually this sum is little bit lengthy also and here they had given us two things so first we have to interpret the question properly a boat goes 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours means this is the first case now in 13 hours it can go 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream determine the speed of the stream and the speed of that that of the boat so again we will suppose the speed of boat always we have to suppose the speed of boat or ritu or any thing that we as x and the speed of current or stream whatever you want to say that is why now speed in upstream that will be x minus y upstream so gravitation will oppose when you are coming down gravitation will help you in downstream x plus y now there are two cases look here 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours so this is one whole big question means case one again 30 13 hours 40 Kilometer upstream and fifty-five kilometer downstream. So we can see there are two equations: thirty kilometer and forty-four in ten hour. This is our first, and thirteen hour in fourteen and fifty-five downstream. So again, we have to now make two equations. First will be of case one. Actually, we are having total ten hours. So we will get time one from this upstream. Time two from the downstream, and then we have to add that time, and that will give us ten. So directly, I am writing t one plus t two is equal to ten. What is time one? We know time is equal to I told you time is equal to distance upon speed. So here distance first upstream. So thirty is the distance, and the speed at of upstream is x minus y plus 44 km downstream so distance upon speed that is x plus y equals to 10 and case 2 i am doing it here only so that you can understand properly again time 1 plus time 2 is equal to 30 so here 40 km distance and speed in upstream is x minus y plus 55 km and the speed is x plus y total 30 now you get these two equations <coughs> now we know in denominator we are getting variable so we cannot directly solve it so we have to suppose 1 upon x minus y is equal to u, and 1 upon x plus y is equal to v. So what will happen? 30u plus 44v is equal to 10. This will be our first equation, and here we will get 40u 
प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव वी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी ओके दिस आर अवर टू इक्वेशन नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व इट हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व आई थिंक एलिमिनेशन विल बी थर्टी यू प्लस फोर्टी फोर वी इक्वल्स टू टेन फोर्टी यू प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव वी इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन सो आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस विथ फोर एंड दिस विथ थ्री सो आई विल गेट वन ट्वेंटी यू प्लस वन सेवेंटी सिक्स वी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एंड वन ट्वेंटी यू प्लस वन सिक्सटी फाइव वी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नाइन नो सब्ट्रैक्शन वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट इट सो दिस कैंसलेशन दिस इलेवन वी इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी विल बी वन बाय इलेवन नाउ यू कैन कीप दिस इन एनी ऑफ द इक्वेशन यू आई एम कीपिंग इट हियर थर्टी यू प्लस फोर्टी फोर इंटू वन बाय इलेवन इक्वल्स टू टेन वन फोर थर्टी यू इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस फोर थर्टी यू सिक्स बाय सो यू विल बी सिक्स बाय थर्टी वन बाय फाइव ना वी गॉट यू एन वी बट वी डोंट हैव टू फाइंड यू एन वी वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड एक्स एन वाई सो ना वी नो आई एम डूइंग इट हियर वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस वाई दैट इज वन बाय फाइव एंड वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वाई दैट इज वन बाय इलेवन सो डायरेक्टली आई विल गेट एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू इलेवन नाव वी कैन सॉल्व बाई एलिमिनेशन आई एम डूइंग इट हियर ओनली x plus y is equal to eleven. Directly we can add this. Okay, two x and this sixteen. So x will be eight. And keep this eight here. Eight plus y is equal to eleven. So y will be eleven minus eight. Nine, ten, eleven. So y will be three. So this way we can find upstream and downstream speed. Thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much